Hello everyone, Cassie. How's it all going? Please excuse the noisy neighbors. <laughs> I got tired of waiting. Anyway, today I thought that I would share some spooky rituals and fun. So, first off, there's the black and white candle ritual. And what you do is get one black candle and one white candle and you start off by lighting the black candle and imagine the flames burning away all the negative stuff that you want to let go of and think about you know everything that you don't want in your life anymore and Things that no longer serves you and imagine the flame of the candle bringing light and making it so that no darkness can hide away and once you feel done you blow out your candle and imagine that the smoke carries it all away while you Breathe out all the negative stuff and just relax. And after that, you can light your white candle and imagine everything that you want. All the good stuff, all the healing, all the abundance, everything that you wish to bring into your life. And let the flame bring you joy and peace and if you want you can keep the candle burning or you can blow out that one as well and imagine the smoke bringing your wishes out to the universe <laughs> so yeah i guess that's the candle ritual <laughs> And next, there's the um, the sleep ritual, where you take your favorite crystal or crystals if you have more that you like, and you put them under your um, under your pillow, and ask them to bring good dreams, protection, and healing. And you can also Google. Um, certain crystals and see what each crystal means and what they stand for and what they bring and you know go from there <laughs> I uh, know that not many people uh, maybe you know maybe you're not into that or anything but I found that it helps, but maybe that's just because I'm a believer and, you know, if you believe, you see the little things, so, yeah, I don't know, but it's worth a try. <laughs> so, last but not least, there's the tea ritual, and it don't it doesn't have to be tea, it can be coffee, it can be hot chocolate, or, you know, whatever. But you simply just make yourself a cup of tea, or whatever you want, and drink it. And then, once you're all done, you look into your cup and see if you see any patterns or symbols or anything like that. <laughs> and if you do see something, you can... Google the meaning of it. <laughs> you know, it's just a little harmful, harmless, oh my god, not harmful, not at all harmful, <laughs> harmless, harmless fun. <laughs> you will have to excuse me, my brain is a little bit all over the place more than usual because my, well, my grandma had surgery yesterday and even though she's fine, it's, you know, you still work. <laughs> so, do excuse me if I'm a little bit out there. <laughs> Anywho, moving on. So there's some funny little rituals for you. Um, 
speaking of fun, that brings us to the fun. <laughs> so, first off, there's the horror stories. Now, I'm a sucker for horror, and what I like to do is get all cozy, light some candles, and listen to horror stories. Or you can even make up your own, and, you know, get creative. <laughs> I think it's plenty of fun, and also if you make up your own, you can write them down or something, and tell them to your kids once you get them, if you get them, or, you know, just friends or family. <laughs> so, yeah, I definitely like doing that. And next, there's the horror movies, and, well, I guess it's pretty obvious. <laughs> just get cozy and watch horror movies. And if you want to, you can search for old classics and maybe you find one that you haven't seen and it turns out to be the best thing ever <laughs> and you might find a new favorite among the horror classics or you might find something completely new and it might be the scariest one yet <laughs> i uh, i like to go on the hunt for the scariest one even if I do get a little bit sad because I never get scared, but mm, it's still fun. <laughs> to me, horror movies are like comedies and I never get scared, which is sad. I want to get scared, but you know, it's still fun and I do enjoy watching it with others and see them get scared. <laughs> Yeah, guilty pleasure, I guess. <laughs> and last but not least, do have some fun. I know there's a lot going on, and with this stupid virus and everything going on, there's, you know, a hard time doing the things that you really like and usually do, but you can still do it, just on a small scale you can you know you can carve pumpkins you can decorate you can bake some spooky goods <laughs> and on halloween you can have your own halloween party and you know dress up if you want to maybe have a costume contest with friends and have some video calls or you know there's always ways to have fun, even if you're limited, so don't give up, even if you can have all the plans and all the stuff that you wanted, but I mean, it can still be fun, and don't limit yourself just because the outside world limits you, you can still dress up if you want to, so have fun with it <laughs> and do feel free to send me um, pictures or whatever if you you know have horror stories of your own or just something you want to share in the fun of Halloween <laughs> so yeah I guess that's it and since I hear neighbors getting closer and louder and more annoying than usual, <laughs> I will cut the video short and leave it here because I'm done anyway, so I'll save the other spooky stuff for next week. <laughs> Do feel free to like, comment and subscribe and also share this video, you know, if you want to, there's no pressure here at all, so only if you want to. And I hope you're doing well and that you take care and stay safe and healthy and that I see you next week. So yeah, take care. Much love. Cass. <laughs>